friends, it's time for our high frequency word practice. So if you have a pencil and a piece of paper, you can go ahead and go grab those really quick, pause the video, and then come back. Today we're gonna write our high frequency words, okay? So here we go, our first word is along. A -o -a -n -g. Along, along. Let's spell it really quick, ready? A-L-O-N-G, along, along. Go ahead and get your pencil and a piece of paper. We're gonna write it down now, okay? So maybe I was walking along um, the bike path or I was walking along in the park with my friend, family. Here we go, let's write it. A-L-O-N-G, along. A-L-O-N-G, along, along. Good, okay? Let's go to our next word. Ready? Different. Let's spell it. D I F F E R E N T. Different, different. That's a big word, right? We are all different and special in our own way. Okay, so let's write the word different now. We gotta, this is probably one we wanna sound out because it'll really help us with spelling it correctly, okay? I'm gonna write it to the side over here. You can write it anywhere on your paper if you'd like. We're gonna spell it together. Ready? Different. D I F F E R E N T. We have two Fs. Er, eh, mm, t. Different, different, different. Okay, let's spell it together one more time. D I F F E R E N T. Different, different. Good. Okay, that looks like it might be a little crooked. That's okay. Okay, the next word. Someone. S O M E. O N E. Someone, someone. Someone is thinking of you and thinks you're amazing. So, with someone, that's a compound word. There's two words in one. So, we could just spell the word some. S O M E. Some. And then the word one. One. Which is kind of a tricky one. One's not really a word that we want to sound out because it's spelled different, huh? But then together, we have someone. S O M E. E-O-N-E, -E. someone, someone. Good, okay, let's go to the next word. And if you're writing it with me, just write inside that line, okay? Writing inside the lines, and you can list them off if you want. I just knew I'd run out of room if I tried to list all 10 of them here, okay? Awesome, next word. Girl, let's spell it. G-I-R-L, girl, girl. The girl went to go get her hair cut. Okay, here we go, let's spell it, ready? G Er, o. G got a little wonky. Here we go. G I R L. Girl, girl. Okay, remember these are words you want to recognize quickly. You also want to know how to spell them. Okay, next word. Here we go. Hold. Spell it. H O L D. Hold, hold. Let's write it. O D. Hold. Spell it. H O L D. Hold, hold. Good. Okay. Um, I will be, let's see, sentence. Sometimes Mrs. Galloway just has the sentences escape her. Hold. Um, I started to hold my, my mom's hand as I crossed the street. Okay. Next word bird. B I R D. Bird, bird. Notice, just like girl, er, we're gonna write the er sound here too. B, er, d, bird. Let's spell it. B I R D, bird, bird. Go ahead and write that if you haven't already. So we have six words so far. Okay, next one, opposite of night, morning. Let's spell it. M O R N I N G. Morning, morning. Okay, so let's spell it. M or N, and then the ing, the ing brothers, right? I N G. Morning, morning, morning. Let's spell it one more time. M O R N I N G. Morning, morning. Good, we're almost done, friends. You are rocking it. Okay, double check that you're spelling them correctly, right? That is a little wonky. This guy likes a little more uniform. 
That's okay. Next word, part. Let's spell it. P-A-R-T. Part, part. She got a part in the play. Part. R -t. Part. Let's spell it. P-A-R-T. Part. Okay. Next word. Night. N I G H T. Night. Night. Opposite of morning, right? Okay, let's go right here. Mm -hmm. I -t. Night. N I G H T. Night. Night. So remember that I is a long vowel sound. And then the GH is silent. So it's N I T night. Okay? Awesome. So that's three, six, nine words. Number 10. Word number 10. Against. Let's spell it A G A I N S T. Against. Against. So we could write the word again. Again. Which looks like A game, but it's again. And then against. A-G-A-I-N-S-T. Against. Against. Hey friends, those are our high frequency words. Remember, you can use these in your writing. You should be able to recognize these in your reading. Um, sometimes they'll pop up in our math, maybe, in some of our word problems. So they're just words you want to know how to spell, recognize quickly, and be able to read, okay? Thanks for working hard with me. I appreciate it.